Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the symposium on Harborfront Development. I'm Phoenix Choi, MC of today's event. This is the first symposium organized by the Harborfront Commission. We are very much honored to have many distinguished guests as well as overseas experts from, uh, waterfront experts from four overseas cities joining us today. May I now invite today's moderator, Mr. Vincent Ng, Chairman of the Harborfront Commission's Core Group on Public Engagement, as well as the organizing committee of today's event, to come on stage. Vincent, please. Mr. John Zhang, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, the good morning has a special meaning to myself, <laughs> for those who know me. Uh, on behalf of the Commission and the organizing committee, I would like to warmly welcome you all to this symposium. I am most thrilled by the overwhelming response of this symposium. Well, as you can see today, there are over 600 registered participants to this event coming from diverse backgrounds. Not only relevant professionals, academics and students who are interested in harborfront matters, I also see many key persons in the business community and also the president and members of the Legislative Council. We have talked about harbor protection and harbor front enhancement for many years. And since harbor reclamation litigation in 2004, which was almost 10 years ago, working together with the government and our stakeholders and the community for more than nine years, I saw visible improvements to harbor front gradually and more waterfront areas have been opened up for public enjoyment over the years. But we should not be complacent. It is our vision to create an attractive, truly vibrant, accessible and sustainable harbour front. There is still a long way to go. In exploring the way forward for our Victoria harbour front, we are very glad to have invited leaders and experts of renowned waterfront cities from around the world to come together under the same roof to share with us their successful stories and experience today. I'm sure that the upcoming dialogues will be very interesting and could shed light on our works. Harborfront enhancement requires long-term investment and we cannot do without firm policy support and commitment from the government. To unleash the potential of the waterfront, we need a strong will to pursue and also solid support from our government's pocket. We are much honored to have the most suitable and heavyweight guests of honor to speak to us today. May I now invite Mr. John Zhang, Financial Secretary of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Government, to say a few words and share with us his insights on harborfront development in Hong Kong. Mr. Zhang, please. Thank you very much. Uh, I feel like the pocket. Uh, Nick? Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> good morning. It's indeed a great pleasure <clears throat> for me to join you all today. Congratulations, first of all, to the Harborfront Commission on organizing this symposium. And thank you all for being here to share your ideas and your enthusiasm on unleashing the potential of our spectacular waterfront. A warm welcome, especially to our overseas guests, and especially to our waterfront experts from Auckland, Vancouver, Singapore, and Sydney. These cities are renowned for their unique and exquisite waterfronts, and we look forward to hearing more about your success stories and learning from your experience. I have no doubt at all that Hong Kong has the potential 
to join this elite group of waterfront cities, not just as a great photo op, but more importantly, as a great public asset for everyone to enjoy. And looking around this room this morning, it's clear to me that we have the community support, we have the professional expertise, as well as the political will to achieve our waterfront goals. Victoria Harbour represents the best of Hong Kong, past, present, and future. It is an intrinsic part of our instantly recognizable cityscape. History books provides us with a full account of how our city has grown up along the banks of Victoria Harbor, which has been a magnet for seafarers and their cargoes for hundreds of years. The harbor continues to be a valuable resource and a commercial lifeline today. And more recently, it has also become a popular attraction for tourists and source of pleasure for local residents. People like to relax and enjoy the view along the harbor to take to the water or take to the water in junks and sailing boats. This Sunday, some 2,000 people will swim from one side of the harbor to the other in the annual cross harbor race. This race was first held in 1906, but was suspended in the 1970s because the water quality deteriorated. After spending much time, much effort, and much resources on cleaning up the water, the race was revived in 2011. This is just one illustration of the community's passion and the government's commitment to preserving the harbor and making our waterfront a place of pride for the whole community. The Victoria Harbor we see today is the result of more than a century of successive cycles of reclamation, which have provided valuable land needed for economic activities. The deliverables of reclamation are all around us. Modern skyscrapers, <clears throat> multinational corporate headquarters, major shopping malls, sports facilities, and government buildings. We also have typhoon shelters, pump houses, public cargo working areas and utility facilities along the waterfront. Towards the end of the 20th century, the community started to advocate the need to preserve the harbor. In 1997, the Protection of Harbor Ordinance was enacted to impose a presumption against reclamation in the inner core of the Victoria Harbor. The application of the ordinance was extended to the whole of the of the harbor in 1999. In 2004, the government undertook that after the completion of essential reclamation to facilitate the central Wan Chai bypass, there would be no more reclamation in Victoria Harbor. Today, this last phase of reclamation is almost complete, and the scene is now set for us to unleash the new potential of our waterfront. One way to achieve this is to plan for a joined up and easily accessible waterfront. The Tamer Development Project here in Central is a good example. An important part of the project's design is to make the waterfront accessible to the public. The green lawns provide great views of the harbor. Tamer Park is also designed to link up with the Central Piers and the Star Ferry Pier via the Central and Western District Promenade. The waterfront provides incredible settings for major events, including the recent National Day celebrations, the, our annual Wine and Dine Festival, which is coming up, and the world's largest light and sound show, a symphony of lights. It is also a backdrop for the West Kowloon Cultural District, which is under construction, as well as the new Kaitech Cruise Terminal. The Victoria Harbour contributes not only to Hong Kong's economic well-being, but also to our city's heritage, vibrancy, as well as our way of life. The government is firmly committed to delivering an attractive and sustainable waterfront for our community. During this symposium, Secretary for Development will discuss the government's initiatives 
in creating a vibrant, accessible, and picturesque waterfront. Earlier, I mentioned other waterfront cities in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore. Although they each have different characteristics, they also share a common factor. Each city has a dedicated body to oversee the planning development and management of their waterfronts. The Harborfront Commission has recommended <coughs> the establishment of a statutory Harborfront authority to develop and to manage our waterfront in a holistic manner. I believe that this would be an important part of our strategy to unleash the full potential of our Victoria Harborfront. The Development Bureau, together with the Harborfront Commission, will launch a public engagement exercise starting today to gauge public views on the establishment of a Harborfront Authority. Our Chief Executive has already made clear that as long as the proposal is supported by the public, the government will take forward the legislative work and provide the necessary financial support. Everyone has their own ideas about our waterfront development. The key to success is to bring together the best ideas and achieve a common consensus as far as possible for our waterfront development. This symposium provides an excellent opportunity to learn from the experiences of other great waterfront cities. Auckland and Vancouver have successful stories of using international mega events as catalysts to press for waterfront revitalization and long-term harborfront planning. Marina Bay in Singapore and Sydney's Darling Harbour and the Rocks have established brands that are known worldwide. Victoria Harbour already has a well-earned place in the hearts and minds of our residents and visitors. But development of our waterfront is work in progress. Land formed under the last phase of reclamation in the harbour will soon be ready for public enjoyment after the commissioning of the much-needed Central Wan Chai Bypass. Ladies and gentlemen, this symposium is a timely opportunity for us to forge a clear path forward on the development of our waterfront that meets the aspirations of our community. We look forward to hearing your views on how to unleash this huge potential of Victoria Harbour. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you, Mr. Zhang. Would you please stay on stage for the opening ceremony to kickstart our symposium? May I now invite Secretary for Development, Mr. Paul Chen, and Chairman of the Harborfront Commission, Mr. Nicholas Brook, to join us on stage for the opening ceremony. Mr. Chen, Mr. Brook, please. The colour bars that you are now holding are the three key colours in our Victoria Harbour logo. It symbolises the diversity and vibrancy to be added to our harbour front. When I count to three, please put down the bar into the box in front of you. Ready? One, two, three. With the concerted effort of the government, the Commission and our wider community we will be creating an attractive and vibrant harborfront for the people of Hong Kong and our future generation. Thank you, Mr. Zhang, 